If I showed you this footage and told you that I won Rush 1v1 in spite of crap like this happening to me, would you believe me? Yes or no? I'm gonna show you how I was able to win Rush 1v1 with a playmaking shot creator, a meta screen build in a one-on-one -on -one event, and spite slashers and post scores being able to bully me. But first, can we get 50 likes on this video? And if you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications, and follow me on Twitch. Link down below. And you see how close we are to 6k? Make sure you hit me with that subscribe button. Because if you don't, fades will get buffed. I wouldn't risk it. Okay, I'm never doing that again. I'm sorry. Okay, so we are getting into our first game. You see me, big all-star two, playmaking shot career. Got all in the first weekend and have barely played since. And we're going up against a slasher and he has slashing takeover. This event is a slasher's dream because we all know on the threes, they're getting screened by my big men and I just go behind them screens and fade away, baby. But now I have no screens and this dude's going to take it in with a beautiful contested layup. No bailout. You know, he deserved that. I didn't have a center down there to help me to block the shot. You know, there's no center to help me offensively or defensively. And he saw him just now hit me with the 2K20, the hop step. Oh, man, this dude is different. Ooh, look at that spin move. Look at the combos. This guy is so good. And I'm just sitting in paint, and he gets another nice layup. The game just pushes me out of the way. This guy is a demon, bro. Look at this little blow by. Oh, you want the spin up and under? Oh, too bad he missed it. I'm not going to lie. That was a nice move. But now it's my turn. I got to show him the play shot. I got to show him I don't need screens. Him with the step back. Ooh, this damn indoor win, bro. Oh, and by the way, this guy can shoot middies. Yeah, this is looking bad. 8 nothing early on on the first game of Rush against this slasher. He's getting great animations and he can knock down a mid-range jumper. Luckily, I was able to sneeze on him and make him miss this jump shot. And I hit him with the speed boost and then the curry. I should have just took it in off the speed boost to be honest. But he's in trouble now as I get the right-handed layup, man. Right hand like J-Man. You know the vibes, man. Now, he done messed up now. He's going to leave me open for three again. Big ma- This damn indoor win, bro! Oh, brother, this guy stinks! This guy's going to take another mid-range jumper. This time I get a bit of a contest and I force him to miss. You get any kind of contest on him, he's going to white and he's going to miss. He can only green white. Look at him try and get this bump still. Get dunked on. Come on now. See what happens when you try to bump steal? It leads to easy rim runs. About to get the three ball going. Alright. Maybe I should just stop shooting threes. I don't know. But look at me with another big body stop. No rim protector. And look at this beautiful quick stop I'm about to get. Look at this. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Maybe I should just shoot mid ranges. By the way, I have a quick stopping video if you want to give that a watch. Cashola baby! Who said I should stop shooting threes? It wasn't me. I know that. But we're hit with the speed boost. Man, I had the lane again. I pissed up some open lanes. What was I doing? I think I was just trying to get some jump shots to try and look good for y'all. But I do end up getting a rim run anyway. We cut it to one and I got my takeover. At this point, you think I'm about to go crazy, make every shot. But I'm going to tell y'all right now before, you know, you guys get disappointed. I end up selling. I double curry. I go baseline, hop jumper. And yeah, I didn't like that kind of fade that he gave me. I don't know why I expected anything else in this game. But this dude's going to drive and green another mid-range. He can only green him wide open. I end up getting another stop. I start my shot creating take. I get the easy rim run to take the lead. He is so worried about my jump shot for some reason. Even though I showed that I can't shoot. But I do have my takeover. And look at this. This is the closest shot you can take. And I green, man. You know, close shots, you gotta abuse them, you know. Take what you can get. I gotta take smart shots, secure this game, because I want to win Rush. I get with the step back, 
Got him leaning. Give me that layup. Easy, man. Footwork J in the building. One more bucket. Fade. Oh, my God. Look at the concrete. Big dog. Oh, my God. 59% covered. That is insane. All right, so... I want to shorten this video a little bit. You see me start off the game with a casual baby. Now, I'm just going to show you some highlights of the scoring. I did win this game. This was the second game you're going to see in the end. But the third and fourth game are a lot more interesting in this game. You see this guy couldn't shoot to save his life. So, you know, we're just going to show some scoring. You know, abuse close shots. I was greening a lot in this game. You know, getting past him for the layup. This was a super easy game. I did end up giving the ball back. So I tried to do a long spin jumper. But you saw he got 8 points. I just kept letting him shoot. Because I knew he wasn't going to be able to shoot all game. But man they let me make a lot of whites as well. But yeah man you see that was dub number 2. But games 3 and 4. Especially game 3. Had some drama. For those that saw my rush video in 2K20, you know that I got lucky and didn't have to play a single center on my way to winning rush. This year is a little different, and here's why. A lob threat, power forward, look at the size of this guy. And this big man with a beanie is blowing kisses at me right before he posts me up. That is the most disrespectful thing that you can do. Look at how this dude is going to fight. Look, right into the post. Luckily, I get a bump steal, and I go right in for the layup. Right hand like J-Man. All I got to do is not give the ball up, and it's smooth sailing. Now, this dude is playing back. I shouldn't shoot a three, right? So, I'm going to shoot a fadeaway and green it. See, I don't need screens to get open for the fades. Come on, man. Now I'm going to get carried away and shoot this three white, but it goes in. Thank God, shot from the top of the key. I'm like Cash Nasty, man. The top of the key is my hot spot. This dude's really pressing up on me, but I want to make sure I drive at the right time. I could have shot off the curry, but I go in for the layup instead. The lane was wide open. This guy is too slow. At least, so I thought. I get overconfident, nope. shoot the three again, and I miss. I gave the ball. I'm trying to get the bump steal because, you know, I know I'm not going to be able to stop this guy in the post where I can test. I need to get the steal. I'm trying to get bump steals, but as you see, it's just not working. And, you know, this guy is just a better fighter than me, man. You know, he outplayed me right there. You know, took a very skillful shot, you know. Now he's going to post me up again. I'm trying to get the bump steal, but he just shoves me out the way. Post takeover from 2K19, but without takeover. Are you kidding, man? He just shacked me. I'm trying to go for bump steals because I don't really know what else to do. You know, I don't really pull the chair. It doesn't work, and he's just going in and out of the post so he doesn't get the chair pulled on him. You know, I feel like there's nothing I can do. I do have bronze pickpocket. So my best bet is to just spam X and pray for the best, you know. It's too easy. I'm not even touching him. He's not even touching him. He's going like in and out of the post. He's posting up and playing so weird. It's so tough to guard when people play weird like this. I'm right there, but you know, it doesn't give me a contest. And just like that, he takes the lead. You ever get so frustrated in the middle of the game, you just decide to block your opponent? Well, let's just say that happens for me quite a bit. Yeah, almost 800 people blocked. Get on my level. You're pathetic. Pickpocket on bronze finally comes through. As I'm gonna poke the ball loose, it goes out of bounds with 2.2 seconds. So I'm assuming that it's all good. So I'm just gonna hang back and not really play defense. And this dude almost got the dunk on time. I didn't think it would... I didn't think it would be that close, but we gotta make a run here. I mean, preferably, I would not give this dude the ball back. I gotta be extra careful, and I'm gonna do just that by taking this wide open lane and getting blocked in spite clearly being wide open for the dunk. This dude's a center, and he just chased me down. Centers being just as fast as guards, 
has been a problem since 2K18. I had to take that shot. You know, the shot clock was winding down. You know, that was just a bad situation. Look at this pathetic charge attempt right here. You know, I'm probably the best 2K player in the world when it comes to taking charges. You're going to see that in future videos. But I was very unsuccessful right there. Yeah, so I should take. It looks over. You know, reach and foul. You know, pickpocket, strip steals. That's the only way it seems that I can stop this dude. So, you know, I'm going to continue to spam X. But watch this. This time, I'm going to get this steal. And I am going to be extra careful this time. And take a very contested layup. You know, that was bad, you know. I guess he has Pogo, but I got the ball oh, back and I oh, greened oh. the Green mid-range giant. shot. Thank God. We're only down one. Watch me bake this man right here. Hit him with the curry oh, green. Oh, oh. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. green Let's go. I love you post scores, I'd say. Oh, centers have their advantage. Guards have their speed advantage. Lures the speed advantage. I get a speed boost and he still chases me down. This dude chased me down twice on wide open layups. You know, he gets a contact dunk on me with slashing take. You know, you're so good. But guards have no advantage against centers. They are literally faster than guards. It is dumb. And it is almost impossible to stop them in the post. All you can do is reach and pull the chair. It is just unfair. Mike Wang, 2K, please fix this. You're not going to believe this though. Look at Big Body J with the heavy contest. He's got to foul me. This guy must not know who I am. Watch this. He's going to leave me for... The Cashola, baby, we got the lead back. At least three, three buckets or less for this dub. He's playing super tight. You know, I gotta make sure I have it open because, you know, low and by him means nothing, but, you know, I got him to jump luckily. Just two more buckets. Well, one more if I can get a three. Should I go for the three or play it safe? I go and make him jump once more. Slow ass layup. But we still got it. You are not going to believe this shot right here. Look at this. I thought I'd get him stumbling. And I take shot in his face in three. Wow. I thought he was going to fly to the paint because of the drive on game point. He actually played great defense. But it was just a better shot. You see the green. And I only have dead eye on bronze. And you see me green two impossible shots. I wish it would have shown me the coverage right there. It was only yellow. It was probably 50 something right there. But you know what? I don't feel bad for him. Because 2K was giving him the game. So I deserve that. And I green that shot too. So you can't say I got bailed out. Now we're one win away. Let's get right. No more centers. Last game is against a facilitating finisher. This can be just as bad as being against a center. Look at the size of that guy too, man. But luckily, we are going to get the ball first. So we're going to come out the gate strong. He's going to leave me wide open for the catch. Baby. So you're going to see me hit him with the nice old speed boost and quick stop. But I got hit with the slightly early glitch. And that's when, I don't know, I went for the bumps right here. But the slightly early glitch is when you get a green, but it registers as slightly early and you automatically miss. Now look at me playing paint and I get posterized. You know, this happens quite a bit. I sit under the rim. And this guy just bullies me. It's like I'm defending Burly Glass. But you know, this guy is, you know, not nearly as talented. You know, the game pushes me out the way again. I'm just sitting paint and hoping for the best. But later, I'm actually going to decide to actually play up and guard him. And just play actual defense. And you're going to see it work. So now I actually get in front of my force to contest and I get the rebound and he's mad. He's failing because now I'm actually playing defense. I'm going to see if he tries to get me to three. Again, he does. I white it and I make it. Thank God. 
So I run all the way back here, take the half spin, and get right past him for the right hand like J-Man. The half spin is such a great move to get past me. It seems to work really effectively this year. So I try to half spin again because why not? I'm going to try to drive, but he's defending the drive. So I back up off him and finesse for the mid-range. Baseline mid-range, man, that's automatic for me, you know. Getting that green, got my hot zone there. Backing up, man, getting some space to do my dribbles. And I drive. Where is the defense? We tied it up. This guy had his fun. Now it's my turn. I'm going to back up. See if he gets me space for a three. He does green. Catch show up, baby. I take the lead. Let's go. You see, I got that green machine activated. I started using green machine, and it works like a charm. I'm trying to get past him. He's not giving me the lane. I'm going to have to beat him with all jumpers. That's what he's saying. Psych! I get past for the left hand like J-Man. Got that shot created. Take. Am I going to green another insane shot to win? Well, we're about to see. I'm going to say the outlook not looking too good. I back up to create space. Speed boost. Left hand like J-Man. One bucket away from winning rush. For a second year in a row, I back up to create space, and I'm doing a part. I try to do the curry bomb, one for three! Slightly early glitch. I'm going for the bump steal again. That got me burned earlier. I back up, look at this defense! That is amazing defense, he gets his own rebound, and I foul. Come on, that's a bad, it was a good fake, it was a good fake. I'm letting him shoot. He's coming down. I get another contest. I could have gotten this rebound, but for some reason I gave him the ball. Like, I thought he was going to get it right away. I didn't think that rebound was going to hit the floor. But I am bumping this dude like crazy. He's going to try and post it. Look at this defense. Look at the defense. Come on. Look at me and I still got my take over. Should I go for a fade? Let's see if he jumps. Oh, I got fouled. Look at this defense. For the win, Kashoa, baby! What was he thinking leaving me that open for the win? But there you have it. I won Rush for the second year in a row. Four dubs in a row, man. That center in that third game was definitely the toughest game. That was just excruciating and it was just annoying as hell to play it and this guy was pretty tough you know once I actually decided to get up on him you know it was very tough for him to score just sitting under the basket you know it's actually not it you know you just play right up on those slashers and stay in front of them in you're gonna get contest we see that fourth W in a row man we won rush Let's go. This time it was a lot tougher than last year. You know, last year I I just walked through it. But let's be honest, the main reason that all these games were close up for the second one was because, you know, my shot just wasn't falling. But listen, yo, this was a long ass video. Good thing I cut up the clips in the second game. But make sure you hit that like button. If you got this far, clearly you enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a nice comment if you want. Hit that subscribe button, turn on post on notifications if you're new, man. 6K, man, we are so close. And, you know, videos on the end screen. You know the drill. Congratulations, you completed the rush. Let's go. But, till next time, y'all. I'm out. Peace.